It was literally an event where, like, now it's just being, now people are really starting to expose shit like that. Uh, oh, we're like recording how, now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like how rich people, uh, what they'll do yeah. is. Yeah, I was, about to, I was about to say, you beat me to the punch, but you yeah. see that. Um, yeah. Also part of the reason I put it on the screen like that. I, I, that would have been good like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> true, but I feel we're not going to stop. Yeah, true. True. But, um, but yeah, but that's like one of the, that is one of my big things. It's like, it's... Luckily for you, I brought my slide whistle to keep us busy. <laughs> <laughs> Just to fucking kill whatever move we have going. Oh my god. But yeah, that, like, I, 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 I don't know where you are politically at the moment. I feel like, like, as far as economic issues and all that shit goes, I feel like... For me, economically, I believe in doing things. I, I believe in like a uh, like a light guidance to things in ge- just in general in life. Like, look, right? You know, I'll like leave up the barriers that way people don't drive off the side of a cliff. But to be honest, I, I don't really see the need to have the barriers where you're telling them where to go step by step because right. I feel like that's what's happening can, right now. Look, can I kind of tell you where my I am economically? Go for it. I think that that. You shouldn't have to. I think that in this, in this, in in any civilized nation, mm-hmm. you shouldn't have to go hungry. You shouldn't have to be sick, and you shouldn't have to be homeless. You know, period. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that if you want more than the bare minimum of sustenance, a, sh- a little shack or a little shack, you have to work for it. If you want, you know. The, the bare more than the bare minimum to keep you alive like oh, yeah. work for it now because here's the thing when you take food and you take maybe you know maybe food is a little radical but I, I think it's valid but if you take shelter I think I think like like universal housing for people who need it because here's the thing that expense that's kind of the biggest one to come over though it is, and because here's the thing, and that's a really expensive expense, especially when you start renting up to people. Right, yeah. and he, but, right, but here's the big fucking problem: we have no solution for rent. Rent keeps going up; wages haven't changed in thirty four, in like forty years. The problem is like the, the way that a lot of these big, uh, big corporate types are but most CEOs look at life as like it's an infinitely scaling thing like we like and we've gotten to this thing that I call like an infinitely scaling economy where people act like things can just go up forever forever and like that's not how reality works it's and literally the antithesis of scarcity yeah. as a base concept like we can't there, have everything like we have real if, instances if, if, of if, crashes if, if business that, if, this, that this doesn't go on forever if businesses work like that MLM marketing schemes would, would be would be, fe- would be feasible because you could keep getting more and more people to buy your shitty products. You keep signing more and more people on. There's a finite amount of human beings with a finite amount of resources in this world to buy a finite amount of things. If you, th- like, I don't understand the type of people who believe we're at, like, the end of history. That, that, that no. If you were to die now, technically, that would be the end Here's of Here's what I mean. The bad times are over. Mm. Like we're no, there's no more death on a mass scale, at least in the first world. There's no more absurd war <laughs> between like world powers. There's no more, you know, there's no more, like like horribleness. It's absurd, but there are genuinely people who are so far removed from the average like lives of the work of the working class. And let's also like make you can just just remove from reality. Period. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, like because whose lives are so cushy. That they don't, and, and when I say working class, I mean people who are in the working class. There is a, there is a, there has been a concerted effort by right wing demagogues and in the conservative spin machine for decades to make the words working class in the minds of the American people mean white working class. That it, it think about it. Whenever you hear, whenever you hear a conservative politician say the working class, yeah, no, I almost ninety percent of the time assume that they're talking about pretty much everyone. Like, like, like I. Here's but do, I think, do, you, do you see where I'm coming from? I with know that? a ton of like. Okay, I think that that idea is a little outdated, in my opinion. Now, yes, oh, absolutely, For it is. Very it is absolutely years, out, outdated. When you've got people like Marco Rubio running around. 
Marco Rubio is 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 a is a shell that has that has the values of his current Wait, corporate. I'm sorry, dollar. I'm sorry, not Marco fucking Rubio. Who I was thinking uh, Ted Cruz? No, Governor of Florida. DeSantis. DeSantis. Ron DeSantis. Thank you. We have Wait, to, I was I went down dude, I went down there to visit my girlfriend's mm-hmm. grandparents. We stayed you know, they were like, yeah, like, no, like no COVID regulations, like whatsoever. N- none. Like, and we were in an old folks thing. Like, the, the old folks people had like masks and shit because it was a primarily like, like sixty and up community. But yeah. like, I mean, they're taking their precautions. Like, like, but I'll be honest with you. It's like uh, we, me and my girlfriend, we didn't really leave that area at all. We just like went to the pool. We hung out at the house. And it was chill. We just hung with her grandparents. Her grand, right. her, her her granddad was quiet. He cooked. He was chill. His right. her his mom was his grandma was cookie. But the thing is. My phone broke, and we went out to the Verizon store to get my new phone, a new mm-hmm. phone, because I kind of fucking needed one. You guys remember how shit my old one was anyways? Yeah. We walked into that Verizon store. Mm-hmm. Me and my girlfriend were the only people wearing masks. Yeah. No one, not a human being in that store was wearing a mask. Sounds like Florida. And it's like, like, people are dying, like, people, like, make no mistake, We yes, there are people on the left who are dying of, like, COVID because they don't fucking believe it. Like, cause, uh, I mean, yeah, there are people on both sides who are dying. Right, yeah. but it's like, the let's be real, the overwhelming majority of it are people who are conservative-leaning. What's funny is that you start looking at a lot of these celebrities and stuff, since the vaccine mandates came up, a lot of NBA players have been coming out against it and revealing that they haven't been vaccinated. A lot of celebrities have been doing that. There's something that I've consistently noticed, and there was a stat that I saw before that you Black might want to Black people have out. a very valid reason to not trust things yes, with vaccines. Black, minorities have very low vaccination rates. This Another is, this is historically is true for and, nobody's fault other than the U.S. government. Yes, absolutely. But here's another thing that's really interesting. High, highly educated and high-income people and high-earning income people also have rel- have surprisingly lower vaccination rates. Which is, which to me is very do you wanna, odd. Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? It's because they can afford, and they have the type of jobs that allow them to never leave their house, and they can pay for all their groceries to come to their front door. They can pay for all their food, everything they would ever need. And if they, if they could even hell, they could even have. If they want some a new piece of furniture, they can just pay people to set it up, and they just hide in their room. And they sit there from their high horse, telling me that I have to get fucking jabbed because they Fuck can't off. because they can't leave their house until everybody else is vaccinated but them. That's stupid. That is entirely now. Stupid. Now I, I will say this: there, I don't know very many people like. Okay, let's be, let me be clear. My in opinion, general sense, or I have family. <laughs> I have family. My, my stepfather was an anomaly among his friends. Mm. Let's be completely clear. He was someone who valued um, education and helping the more oh, some yeah. of his other friends and family desired profit. Um, so there, so I have at least some kind of lines into the that world. Now I can't speak for people who make millions of dollars. Either. Right, they live entirely different lives. But the thing is, is, is that like they're barely people. Anymore. Like the the fact of the matter is, is is that if you live a type of life, like they they don't go, they're they're never around us people. Well, no, they, they just move in entirely different circles. Like they just move differently. They don't they don't take the same trains that they do. They don't, don't even the same take a train. They do like like they literally don't even walk in the same areas as we do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like. I, so com- so on a related note, like I will say this though, I saw a very interesting video on TikTok today, mm-hmm. and. Some it was this lady. She was she was a she was a, a teacher, and she was kind of breaking down, um, kind of like the like principles that's like things not principles, but the things that I like collectively you know defined generations. Yeah, baby boomers were selfish. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, I mean, Gen Xers yeah, yeah. were apathetic. Apathetic man, those motherfuckers were cynical. Millennial. Millennials were are, were had. Mentally ill, in cases of depression and ADHD and neurodivergency, being, oh, un- those came from. being undiagnosed until later in life. Gen Z is kind is kind of uh, where we're like like. But here's the thing: in in early Gen Z, kind of falls into that as well too. Mm-hmm. I'm early Gen Z. I kind of but 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 here's the thing: amongst amongst certain parts of early Gen Z and late Gen Z and Generation Alpha, which <coughs> is the which is uh, everybody, um, which is like the people, everybody, I think, born in the 2010s. Generation Alpha? That's what they're called? That's what some people are calling them. 
I don't know. That sounds too good. Nah, fuck that, bro. We need to stick to the ones where, like they split up by like thirty to forty years. Like, like, yeah. like that just makes sense. I don't know. Well, the thing is, is that technology and culture is moving so fast now. Oh right? uh, yeah, that is. True. Honestly, yeah. the next gen will probably be happening now because that would be. Who the, knows what the fuck those right. dumbasses? Right. But sound. here's like, what you're... they're defined as. They're defined like well, they're kind of like a lot of like elementary school is in middle school teachers. The kids are the, these kids are angry. They're angry. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised. And here's and and, and, and and their justification for this was like, oh, I know why they're angry. They spent two years in, indoors and they get to socialize, and it's the fault of the social media. That's partially, I think that's part of it. Part but that's, of it. but re- yeah. reducing it all down to that, I think, and even is, then, is small was... minded and, 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 and too simplistic. What I think it is is that they had it access. I think they had access to the internet. Mm-hmm. The same way, like they, like they had the same level of access to the internet. All of us all did, of us. and they le- and they're realizing, and they went and through probably one of the most intense political they, moments in America. They are they are angry. They 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 are angry at authority, in the sense of like they really don't like authority figures, and I think the the reason for that is because they. Through the through looking through the infinite windows that the internet provides, or Mac, or Mac, <laughs> realized. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah, you said Windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I know. But like, yeah, Mac users. Re- <laughs> they they realized that the world is an unbelievably unfair and unjust place for entirely fixable reasons that aren't because of that aren't fixed because of the choices actions and greed of people much older than them exactly yeah. i said i had a i i saw i saw how old do you think they would be nowadays like 14? i think i think i think i think you i think like maybe less than 10 right considering I, if you would define it be I around the uh, 2010s everybody who's 18 who's who's 19 right now a 19 and older I would put. I would put. Well, like, no, my no, question I, I would is, say sixteen. My question is. Well, no, 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 no. Bear oh, with me. Oh, oh, no, bear with me. Not nineteen and older. I mean, is like our generation. Like the people I would signify are like eighteen and. You younger. said okay because I wasn't too sure if you're referring to the new generation or our generation. That's the difference. I'm talking about because the, you're talking about the newer generation. I'm talking they're too about, young to be even politically aware. No, no, I'm right. I'm talking about everybody born after two thousand. Okay. You think that'll be a very angry generation? I think, I think it it is a very. I mean, I'm angry. I mean, we're 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 technically in between Gen Z and millennials. We're hitting that point where we're just kind of cynical and angry and but upset took, with but the t- world. But it took us a few years to get here. Well, yeah, yeah. But yeah. What, honestly, the, I think I'm seeing. 14, 15, 16 year olds and younger who are and how much of that is actually angry. politically awareness and how much of that is hormones getting them angry they about they everything? Generally, be able to I don't, I don't, expose I, themselves. G- g- generally, I don't, I don't generally appre- like a pre- like think the the hormone thing. Because here's the thing: I was a horny ass teenager. Good job. Okay, okay, but but it's like but it's like it didn't. Um, but every one outlier out. doesn't equate to the entirety. Right, but it's like I, I will say this: like there are more hormones than just the sexual drive hormones. Like obviously, for me, for me it's I I really kind of want to look at things because we've made because we as humans we've made a long there was a long series of decisions that was made before any of us were born about mm-hmm. many things about how our society is built and operates currently. Mm-hmm. Currently, the idea is that we have, in my opinion, our society has not been built from an infrastructure uh, pl- uh, from an inf- infrastructure point of view to even support these things. Like, for example, uh, I remember I was watching uh, a YouTube channel that was, uh, uh, I think it's called either Not Just Cars or Not Just Bikes or whatever, but he was going over, you know... Uh, Is that the infrastructure dude? Uh, I don't know if that's the infrastructure dude. He's just a guy that talks about bikes and lives in fucking Denmark. Um, but yeah, he was talking about how cities aren't loud. Cars are loud. Mm-hmm. And he made a great, great video explaining how not even really the car's engine is really loud. It's it's the fact that on roads, cars are really fucking loud. Tires are really loud, dog. Tires are... In, when you start getting up to around 60 miles an hour, you hear your tires over your engine most mm-hmm. of the time. So, think about this, right? Look at how America has been built. We've been... we our, our, our literal country is built for cars. Blame the Coke brothers and Coke Industries. Exactly. That was a that was a long series of decisions that was made before any of us were born. I, I am not a person who 
like I'm not someone who uh, who generally celebrates the death of few people. There's been very few people who, whose death I've celebrated, except for Hitler. Oh, that's one of them. Within yeah. my lifetime. Okay. Hmm. Except for Hitler. Like, <laughs> the two I remember, the two people who have died that I actually like was happy had passed hmm. was Rush Limbaugh, but that was lesser just mainly like, because he was just. A you know, a dickhead, but he also kind of led to people to where we are in the current, like, conservatives to where it currently mm-hmm. is. He was a big contributor to that. But primarily, uh, Robert Koch. Oh, he passed away recently. One of the two Koch, yeah, he was like one of the two Koch brothers. Charlie, I think, is still alive. Mm. I'm just waiting for him to get kicked the bucket, too. Oh, Why man. wait? We could do something. I'm kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. I think about the death of Mitch McConnell much more than is healthy. Um, but regardless, French Revolution on their asses. Yeah, but regardless, but like, but he, more of a Pepsi guy, anyways. But, but joke, but I, jokes aside, I, I do like want to bring it back to the original point that I was getting onto. So again, things like that, right? So let's go back to the hormones thing really quick. Yeah. When it comes to how our food is being made and processed at the moment, it's similar to the same thing with cars. A long right. series of decisions were made. And if you start doing a deep look into the food industry and how it operates on, like, a day-to-day level, there's a whole lot of shit that they inject into the animals. And here's my thing, right? When you start injecting certain animals with certain things, uh, you get into this thing of, we have to remember some of the base laws of society. You know, chemicals are not broken down very easily. And when you inject foreign chemicals into an animal's body that has, has, that has lasted evolutionary to not be exposed to this... Right. What does that do in the long term? You get thirteen year olds who are who are six foot four. And you know, and this is not and this is not to make it down on people, but I, I have you you've noticed things like alternative genders, alternative sexual identities, th- th- these sort of things have come up more and more mm-hmm. in terms of prominence. Well, they've always existed. They it's have just, we, always we, we, existed. We we just have foster at least part of our society has is not is like welcoming of that to the point where it's like people feel comfortable they can well, exist here's that my way. thing like wait, wait, if you start looking into like long term uh, long term studies into trans people for example a big issue that they run into is uh, is body dysphoria or gender dysphoria right mm-hmm. even after post assignment surgery there is still a high high percentage of them taking their own lives so do you, do you think do you think do you think it's it's a society thing or if it's a mental condition thing I think it's a little bit of both really I would put I would probably put like if we were to factor in cases I would say probably 80 to 90 percent of cases are probably because of how people are treated versus of what's in their own mind as it as it pertains to the body dysphoria there are probably other factors in their brain that are driving them to suicide other than just the body dysphoria well, I've opinion. also kind of got a I've got a question for you too, man, about for that. Because you said that um, obviously that kind of thing is rising up in prominence nowadays, and that, I mean, obviously that's very true. But how much of that is because the newer generation is more emotionally available, therefore making it more, to the younger crowd, a lot more, I guess, um, okay to uh, right. come out as that kind of thing? Yeah, rather. And, and as well feel more emotionally okay so, at trying things that they might have otherwise not have been able to. Yeah, because which real, is healthy. Because which realistically, healthy. anyone who identified as and no, I'm not trying to come at anyone or anything like that. Just putting that safety net out there, because realistically, you can say you're one thing in high in um, when you're a teenager and high school, and then easily when you're in your twenties, you come you kind of stay into you one thing that you want to. Because realistically, that's it, how it is. Let's be real. A lot like, of our teenage years is just like, trying to figure out. out from yeah, it's just right. trying to figure out where we are. And once that carries on once you f- way into Once you our, figure um, out what the fuck you are. You generally pretty stick with it. And right. Then, it's like, like your parents... If, 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 it's kind of like a glove, you know? It just fits. Yeah. Right. It's like, I, like, it's like there's, very, there's things in this world that you know you like. You know? And there's that you are and you're comfortable with. It's like... But yeah. That's going back to my question of how much do you think of that is... Based off of you, what you think um, is dealt with animals and hormones versus environmental or societal kind of things. Yeah, cause, yeah, you're getting into a very interesting question. I think it, it's because at that point, I mean, I would have to do my own study on like, the because, brain chemistry. Of these yeah, people. because I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, I never considered the option that you that you brought up that um, that foreign chemicals and um, and hormones being injected into animals obviously has a larger effect on us in the long run. I more considered it as people nowadays are more societally aware that, hey, 
Uh, there's this thing called trauma. It's kind of fucked up. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Uh, maybe I could talk to someone about it and therefore become more available. Zara's calling. I know. Oh, sorry. Absolutely 100% agree. <laughs> We're going to have to get this done at a separate time. Say your goodbyes, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. All right. Goodbye, everybody. What the goal?